severe air pollution as the air quality index in the national capital has continued to deteriorate as most of the stations have recorded an air QI in the very poor category. Now, the air pollution levels in Delhi and adjoining areas are expected to rise in the coming days ahead of Diwali with stubble burning and firecrackers being major contributors along with the absence of favorable wind conditions. Now, as the pollution in Delhi has plummeted to the very poor level, stubble burning continues in several parts of Punjab and Haryana. The Indian Agricultural Research Institute data has revealed that total farm fire counts till the 27th of October is 5,320, whereas 1,983 fresh, fresh fire counts have been reported from the state of Punjab. The maximum incidents reported from Punjab's Amritsar, that is, 476, followed by Guna in Madhya Pradesh at 380. Now, in Taran Taran, in uh Patiala, in Firozpur, in Ashoknagar, in Sangrur, in Baran and in Aligarh too, the number is high. Now look at the visuals that you're now going to see. Now uh, we're going to put out the pictures of monuments in the city of Delhi which are disappearing. But before that, also take a look at how toxic foam is engulfing the Yamuna River. Akshardham, the AQI level has crossed 357. Delhi is choking amid severe pollution. We will also show you some images of how monuments and noted landmarks in the capital, they seem to be disappearing behind uh, the smog. But for now, on your screen, you're seeing how this toxic smog uh, or, or the toxic air is engulfing the entire city. Now, it's Akshardham, pictures on your screen. Then you have Anand Vihar. That's India Gate and also Munirka. We'll keep you updated on the situation when it comes to pollution and also the politics around it in the national capital. But time now for us to take a short commercial break.